Hey guys, it is Saturday and Jay and I are camping. I should say I'm camping because Jay's actually gone to work today. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna probably insert this in the beginning of my vlog because I never did an intro. So I, I will tell you that I had a wonderful week because we had Justin and Tamara come visit us. And they stayed for from Friday to Monday morning sometime. And then Jay brought them down to Winthrop, Massachusetts. And then on Tuesday, Jay met up with them Tuesday night to do a Red Sox game. And they had a blast. I covered for Jay, so I worked. And I'm not a... I'm not a huge, like, sports fanatic, so that was okay. And so he went down and he had the Red Sox game. It was the first time, I don't, I'm going to see if I can insert a picture here, but it was the first time that Jay and Justin have done a Red Sox game, and I want to say, oh my gosh, you know, maybe about 25 years or something, or 20 years. It's been a long time since the two of them were together in Fenway watching a Red Sox game. Is it Fenway? Hmm. So anyways, that just shows you how much of a, a Red Sox fan I'm not. I mean, I'm a Red Sox fan, but I just don't know the game. Just like I'm a major Patriots fan, but I really don't know the game. So anyways, they left. Jay did the game, and then it was just one of those wacky weeks at work. And I did an open house. So I'm going to show you the start of my vlog. is going to show you some of the clips on the broker open house. We have this wonderful subdivision in New Hampshire. And it's really a cool subdivision. I didn't show a whole lot of it. But I did show the, the broker open house, you know, parts of the house that we went into. So that was really cool. And then Friday, Jay left early in the morning, brought the motorhome to the beach. And then we just had a blast Friday night. So I'm going to show you all that. But before I, I pick up on doing that. I just want to tell you, this was sent to me from Skin Deva. Is it Skin Deva or Skin Diva? I really don't know. This is the Hydrating Anti-Aging Infusion Spray. And this is with Agriline and Cucumber Extract. Yesterday, we walked all around the beach. We did the boardwalk. We did a bunch of different things. And I am telling you, since I've had this all week, I've kept this actually nearby because I've sprayed this a number of times. It has a cucumber smell. It is so soothing. It do, The spray does come out strong, so you have to hold it away from your face. But wow, I mean, so soothing. So I'm getting ready to go head to the beach. I'm going to walk the beach. I've got a ton of sunblock on, a ton of sunblock on. And yeah, I don't, you know, we'll see what the day brings, but that's, that's what I'm doing. I'm heading out to the beach. My motorhome, when we, when we just do a quick two-day weekend like this, I mean, really, um, we're going to leave Monday. I'm going to leave really early Monday because I have to work up in Portsmouth. Jay will bring it home a little bit later on on Monday, so, because he doesn't have to go to work until, like, later Monday, Monday night. So that's the scoop, and um, maybe I'll insert some beach clips at the end, but... So welcome to the vlog, guys. Really pretty. This is my kind of room. Oh, look at the bed. So we're at a broker's open house in Litchfield. Wow. This is really nice. I like how they did that. Yeah. So people can see what's standard and what's not. That's a great touch. I am recording, by the way. I know, I figured that. <laughs> what a beautiful... I really like this. Wow. dinner, dry camping. Ooh. Let me see if I can, um, look at that. Oh my God, that is full. Full. Isn't it, honey? Yep. Our little home over there for the weekend. So we're dry camping. 
and we are walking the board. Walking the boardwalk. Yeah. And boardwalk. Was, and you were you ready to groove to the music? No. He's not ready. Anyways, we wore jackets, but it's actually pretty nice out. I'm not too sure if you can really see any of this that well. But this is all the piles of sand that will be creating the sand sculptures. They're probably going to start this week because this is quite a big event. Right, babe? Yeah, it should be awesome. We won't be here to see it, though. I'm sure you'll want to drive up here during the week. I think I might. Just leave their trash crazy. Don't you try to eat me? Oh, this thing is coming after me. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's where he's going. Right over there. He's on a mission. A man on a mission. And now he's got to really think about it. So what are you going to have? What are you going to order? Dutch almond. Dutch chocolate almond. Woohoo. So that's what kind of ice cream? Dutch chocolate almond. Small. Small, huh? Looks yep. pretty big to me. Why, come here. Is it good? No, I don't want it. Um, nope. You yeah, haven't had one of those here since last summer. Last summer. I just want to say that I did not get an ice cream. Is it even recording? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> I did not get an ice cream. I'm trying really hard to be good. I'm not good. I'm not good? I'm not good. No, nah, but you've been doing good. Yeah. So. Look at the pink sky out there. Pink sky? Oh, I'm going to turn the camera around. Watch this pink sky happen. I don't know if the camera's picking it up. What is it? Pink sky at night? Sailor. Sailor's delight? Yep. Red sky in the morning? Sailor take warning. Yeah, here's where we are. Dry camping at the beach. Let's see if I can zoom in. I'm going to have to get in position. It's way down. So I watched the boat slip into the harbor and disappear. I think later tonight or this afternoon we'll walk over and check it out. Then we went down to the bandstand, the seashell area of Hampton, and there was this band playing, and she was really moving the crowd. The interesting thing this time of year, the crowd is made up mainly of Q-tips, <laughs> meaning older folks, but that's okay. I realize Jay and I are also older folks. So we sat and watched them, and then we walked around the sand sculpture area. So we love going to Hampton Beach during the sand sculpture contest, but we don't often get to see it at the very beginning phase. As you can he see, this one is the welcome. They just started it. Hey, June 9th. 9th. And next week will be the judging. The 18th annual Hampton Beach Master Sand Sculpting. So we... We'll see what all these piles of sand will look like. It's kind of amazing to watch the progress. She just stands quietly and watches the ocean. Look at the star up there. Oh yeah. One lonely star overlooking the lady. Hey, good morning, guys. It's Sunday, June 10th, and oh, 
been. We've had a great weekend, as you can tell by the vlog clips I've included. But one of the things that is, I'm always worried about when I come to the beach, I'm really worried about sun exposure, you know, on my face. I mean, I'm doing all this, you know, um, I hate to use the phrase anti-aging, but really it is, it, oh, sorry, I have a messy t-shirt on. It really is anti-aging efforts anyway so you know retin-a all of that stuff and then I always worry that I'm gonna get a sunburn I'm gonna get too much sun exposure I'm just gonna basically destroy everything that I've created or built or worked on these last two years because you know it has been just about two years my journey and it's it's been it's been an amazing journey, and I've had amazing results, and I don't want to undo it. So I have some wide brim hats that I wear. I, I wear a ton of sunblock, and I know I need to get some color, some natural color. So, um, you know, I, I've been working on that. But overall, I'm pretty well, at least my face, neck, arms, you know, is 50. You know, my face and neck and chest is usually 50 SPF sometimes 30 and my arms are usually 30 and my legs are still pale but so um so i don't know if we're gonna this this may be the last camping trip we do before we go to canada because we've father's day weekend coming up and we're not going to be going camping father's day weekend and then we just have our canadian uh trip you know our plans so yeah and then arranging you know for uh my son and you know rottweiler you know we've got to take care of the dogs and you know just arranging all of that stuff so that when we're gone you know he's at the house so i'm not worried about that but you just always worry a little bit anyways when you're gone but so today's the last day of the beach, and Jay and I are going to head down to the beach, and I don't know what we're going to do tonight. I want to walk over to Hampton Harbor and see if I can see that houseboat that I saw floating on that Friday when I first came. That was pretty cool. And, um, and then we'll see. We'll see what the day brings. I don't know how much longer the vlog will go on. I know it's a short vlog as far as just a few days of my life, but um, that sounds weird to say. But yeah, I'll probably end it when we get back home. We'll see. So I went for a little beach walk with Jay. It was so windy I had to mute the natural sound because you couldn't hear a thing I was saying. Did you find a nice little comfortable seat? Hey guys, what a, a beautiful day to be working real estate in New Hampshire. I'm actually working out of the Exeter office today and it's just perfect temperatures out. It's sunny, it's breezy, and maybe if I'm lucky I'll be able to take a little river walk and when I go down there later on maybe some of the flowers will be pretty cool. But anyways, Jay and I came home from the beach yesterday, Monday, today's Tuesday, and he drove the motorhome home uneventful trip home. It was really smooth sailing and I went to Portsmouth and worked out of our Portsmouth office for the day and that was really awesome. So yeah, I, uh, it's really kind of bittersweet not to be thinking about going out again this weekend but we're both working Saturday and then we have Father's Day and just have um, too much to do, too much to do, too much to do. And then the following weekend my nieces get a bridal shower. I can't wait. That's going to be awesome fun. I thought I would just step onto this dock and maybe record a few seconds of a clip so you can maybe see what's behind me. Very peaceful. So as you can see, this is just a really pretty place to walk. And I've walked here before and shared this with you all before. So you've seen this walk a number of times if you've watched my vlogs or some of my videos. But I just thought I would stop here and just take a deep breath and reflect on the beauty of nature. The water, it's salt water. Lots of really nice places to explore in Exeter. Absolutely love it here. And I guess I am... I'm truly blessed. I'm blessed to be able to enjoy something like this on my lunch hour. And I'm, I think I'm just totally blessed all around because I actually enjoy creating my videos. It's not a job for me. I don't expect to make money off of them. 
I love the fact that I can get some free products to review. I'm very selective on what I accept. I get a lot of offers in my email. I would say 90% of them I turn down. A, because I'm not interested. B, because I like the routine I have. And also because some of them are a little bit too demanding. So I, I don't mind reviewing products that I choose to review. I've been approached by a couple of companies that it was a static, you know, Skin Deva for one. Uh, it's static to be approached by them. Teddy Blake handbags, I thought that was really cool. I, you know, so I've been really lucky on some of the products that I've received and that I've reviewed. And the, oh, the wigs, uni wigs. I love doing those wigs. So yeah, maybe it's about time to do another wig review. <laughs> I don't know, but I haven't gotten any more good wigs. So yeah, for me, it's just a completely different ball game when you do something that you enjoy and I have a full-time job so I am a caregiver for my older brother who is a disabled Vietnam vet and I've been a caregiver for him for probably since 1996 if I go back and track it a long long time I also my parents are elderly they're 90 so they're needing more and more care and I work full-time but YouTube for me is a place that I enjoy and I want to keep it <laughs> drama free, if that's the right way to say it. So, I, I, you know, everyone has their different channel goals. And mine are simply to share bits and pieces of my life with you, to share some of the products that I like, and to take you on this journey, if you want to come on this journey of anti-aging, trying to stay fit as much as possible. And, and just simply, you know, maybe look at life a little bit differently at times. You know, we're all kind of boxed into the way we perceive things to be, at least I am. And it's always nice and refreshing to have something happen or someone that takes me out of that comfort zone and makes me explore. And that's what my skincare journey's been. I never thought I would ever use Retin-A. Oh my gosh, never. And to think that I've been using it for now, you know, for a long time, going on two years in September, the end of August, I should say. Uh, Derma rolling a year in July. Wow, you've come a long way, baby. I really have. Now, my wrinkles, you know, they're still there, but they're getting better. Or they're not getting worse. I think that's the better thing. They're not getting worse. So, anyways, I'm going to end the vlog here. And I just, I just really appreciate every single one of you. So, thank you so much for all your support and for all the fathers out there and all the women that are being fathers to children. Um, Happy Father's Day. You know, I hope that you enjoy your weekend with your family and that you have a wonderful, wonderful Father's Day. And for those of you whose fathers are no longer with you, I hope you spend the day, a little bit of it, and I sure you will, reflecting on the man that helped contribute to being the person you are today, if that makes sense. So anyways, it's my two cents, three cents, and probably way too long, but Thank you so much. Please be sure to like the video, leave me a comment, and make sure you subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate it. Bye guys.